Hello, my name is Corin O'Neill, and this video is made to help anyone who is trying to become an Eagle Scout. I will be giving my advice on some of the various steps of becoming an Eagle Scout, including paperwork and the board review process. I know that I could have used a video like this when I was going through my own Eagle Scout project, and hopefully someone will find the advice in this video useful. Let's get started. Make sure that you have printed out the most updated version of the Eagle Scout Project workbook because the Eagle Project board will sometimes reject the work if it's not the most recent version. Thinking of a project can be difficult and trying to find an organization that is willing to work with you can be even harder. But remember that your project needs to not only provide you with the chance to lead a team, but it also needs to be feasible. There's nothing wrong with doing something huge for your project, but make sure that you're capable of building it with the people and resources at your disposal. You also need to make sure that your plan meets the specifications of your project beneficiary as well. Stay in contact with them and make sure that what you're doing will actually help them. Filling out the worksheet from here might feel or look like a lot, but honestly should only take you 30 minutes. Getting the signatures from the project beneficiary can be a pain, but my suggestion is to scan the sheet onto your computer and then send it to your contact via email. They can print it, sign it, and then scan it to their computer and send it back to you the same way. Remember, the proposal is just a rough estimate of what you think you might need for your project. It's okay if it's not exact, or you end up needing different things later. Taking pictures of the project site and including them in your plan is also a good idea. This isn't something you're going to do until you've completed the project proposal board, but you should start thinking about this beforehand. You can try to do some things, as some previous members of your troop have done, in order to raise money, but some other options might include car washes or cleaning up a park. Honestly, this part of the project is something that you're going to have to get creative with, but something that you might want to keep in mind is that you can do work for members of your family in order to fundraise, but keep in mind that this you probably use as a last resort. There's a fundraising application form that you need to fill out and get signed at the Project Proposal Board. Make sure that it's signed, because you cannot start fundraising without all of the signatures required. And if you do end up doing work without those signatures, it will not count towards your project, and you cannot use those funds. Your Scoutmaster should review your paperwork that you have completed so far before they schedule a Proposal Board meeting. At these meetings, there will be scout leaders who will ask you about your project and how you intend on getting supplies, leading the group, and building the project. The questions can vary from proposal board to proposal board. But the most important thing to understand about this is that the interviewers are there to help you and they might have suggestions about how the project could be planned. Do not try to act like you know everything if you don't know the answer to a question or if you hadn't thought about something. Honesty is the best policy for passing this part of the process. The project plan portion of the workbook is more or less the same questions from the proposal side, so there's a lot of copying and pasting that you can end up doing. But there are some questions that end up being more in-depth that you're going to need to work through. The work process question requires that you give step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete the project, aka it's asking for building blueprints or similar stuff. You can work with your project mentor in order to make these blueprints if you don't already have some. Answering the materials, supplies, tools, and other expenses questions is going to take some more research. You're going to need to pick a place that you're going to buy your stuff from and write down how much you'll need and what it will cost you. I recommend making a spreadsheet for this and including it with your workbook. As for where you should get your materials and supplies, I recommend either Lowe's or Home Depot because they can give you free supplies as a tax write-off, and that's stuff you don't have to spend money on. Just call the manager of a store ahead of time and mention that you're trying to get things for your Eagle Scout project, and they may be able to hook you up with at least a discount. Safety. You are going to have to read the Scout Safety Book for guidelines on what scouts of what ages can operate which tools. Going by these guidelines will save you in the final board of review because they will ask you about this. You should also take into account things like hazardous weather, backup plans for if someone gets hurt, and sanitation into the safety guidelines of your project. Each project is going to be different, so there's no uniform advice that I can give. 
but there is a checklist of things that you need to make sure you do while the project is going on. Make sure that you have a sign-in sheet with the times that all the participants show up and leave. You will need this for paperwork later. Providing food can help make sure that people will want to show up. Almost nothing will motivate scouts more than free food. Unless you're under dire circumstances, it's best if you let the participants do the work. It may feel weird to just direct them without picking up a hammer or any other tool yourself, but this is a requirement that you need to meet and will be asked about in the Eagle Board of Review. Make sure you have a site for building the project if your project requires construction of some form ahead of time. And if the site isn't at the beneficiary's location, then you need to make sure that you have transportation to get your project there. This portion of the workbook will be completed after you're done with executing your Eagle project. This will be the last portion that you will fill out before going into your Eagle Board of Review. It's the shortest amount of paperwork that you will have to do, and it's just recapping what you did for the project and any changes that occurred from the original plan. It's a good idea to include any pictures that you took over the course of the project with this final report, as well as any notes that you might have taken. The most important thing that you can do now is breathe. Remember that the interviewers in this board want to see you succeed at getting your Eagle Scout rank. Try to relax and treat this as another conversation that you're having with your Scout Masters. I cannot tell you what the exact questions will be, but if you're yourself, instead of a persona of the perfect scout, this will be far more comfortable for you, and you're likely to succeed if you're just yourself. You might want to prepare some stories about yourself and your scouting career. There will be a point in the review where it's going to be a conversation between you and the interviewers, and having these stories on hand can be useful. Be wary of including anything that's crass, because remember, this is a professional space. This process can seem really scary, and that's okay. And there are times where you're just not going to want to do this. Believe me, my parents had to kick me in order to get my project done. But you've got this. Just break the process into steps. Do a little bit every day. And before you know it, all of this will be over. And if you're anything like me, you're going to have no idea what to do. And you can see an end goal, maybe even a way out, at getting your Eagle Scout rank. But know that despite everything, there will be people who will support you, who will help you if you only reach out and ask. You can do this, and I know that your project is going to blow everyone away. Thank you for listening. I hope you found some of the advice in this video useful. And no that you've got me, your troop, and your family all supporting you. Good luck, future Eagle Scout. Take care.